his third start in a row here for the Minnesota Wild, coming off a shutout on Hockey Day, Minnesota. What a great story there for Alex Daylock and his family. Coninato sends it ahead at center ice. Vetrano into the zone, drops to Hoffman, a centering pass, and they score. Yandel, he's never met a shot he doesn't like. The guy has been a power play specialist around the National Hockey League for a long, long time. Guys that have spent their living around the front of the net, why not try to get it in there? Parisi wins the draw. Suter a shot, looking for a tip. Stall on the backhand. Save Bobrovsky. Rebound, they score! Darren Spurgeon ties it with a power play goal. It's 1-1. Puck bounces off the back wall. Again, Eric Stahl, we talked about his ability right around the front of the net. And when trying to create passing lanes, a lot of times you'll see him bounce one off the end wall intending to get a pass out front. I mean, that play always happens. Here's your stretch pass. There's Barkov in, and he scores. Dragged it across, got Stalock moving, beats him upstairs. And the Panthers are in front for the second time in this game. Here you could see that they were, the tendency was there. The Minnesota Wild defenseman could not get caught napping, and Barkov, that's the one guy that you do not want to allow alone, alone in with a goalie. Amazing reach, look how long his stick is, and just soft little buttery hands to be able to get that puck up over Stalock's glove, and you can see Alex Stalock look back at Barkov like, are you kidding me with that play? We've seen Nathan McKinnon make that type of play. Stalock in his last four games, a 93-4 save percentage, a 199 goals against. Here comes Erickson Eck, has Cullen with him, and a save, now he scores! Bobrovsky got a piece of it, it trickles by him. It's only the second shorthanded goal allowed by Florida this season, and Minnesota has tied it. Two, so the Minnesota Wild have done their homework looking at that set play, great job. Yandel shot, tipped, and they score. Yandel took the shot, Dadanov tips it in on the way, and the power play goal has Florida back in front. Zuccarello back to Suter. Wild one for two in this game. Six for 11 in the last four. Spurgeon a shot. Save, Parisi scores! Pops out nice for Zach Parisi, and he's able to get it. I thought he got it up over his pad. He's able to slide that back through the legs of Bobrovsky. Huberto pressured by Susi, got it to Dadnov. He was tied up by Cunnan. Cunnan feeds Polino. Off the boards for Erickson Eck. Erickson Eck back to Cunnan. He scores! But that puck jumped up on him right when he was going to shoot the puck. And Bobrovsky kind of threw him off. Handle with a long pass, tipped in by Huberdo. Kadanov works off the boards for the Panthers. Threw it out front. Stalock got a piece of it. Shooter had Barkov tied up. Second effort allows the Minnesota Wild to get five fresh players on. If he doesn't come up with that puck, you might get three players off, not five. Strawman plays it ahead for Trocek. He scores. Through Alex Stalock's feet, and sometimes I don't know if the stick that finally chased by Zuccarello. Trocheck fires that goes over the top of the goal. Ekblad for Connolly. He's pinned up against the wall by Brodine, and they score. Achari tips it in out front, and with 4.8 seconds left, the Panthers have a 5-4 lead. That's why it's so important. To, to block shots so pucks don't get to inside ice like that. But that's a tough one to take if you're the Minnesota Wild who played a really good game here tonight but find themselves down. I don't think there's any chance. Well, Ooh, that's close. Second one, yeah, the first. A shoot right through here. Stahl wins the draw, but it escapes Dumba. He blasts one down off the end wall, and that's it. And a crushing defeat for Minnesota.